again, everyone, and welcome back. We have the Summer Cooking Panda Box. Oh, man. It has been a little bit of a journey to even get this box. Unfortunately, the first one that Cooking Panda tried to send, well, the Postal Service lost it, it looks like. It, it might come one day, I don't know, but the tracking number was like deactivated and very strange. But big, big props to the folks at Cooking Panda. They were, they were on it faster than I could be on it. You know, I did email them after about a week of nothing changing with the tracking number. They were like within a, an, a couple hours just, hey, let's check it. Uh, you know, they, they initiated a, like a new box going out like within like 24 hours. Just really good customer service. So I want to give props where props are due. Cooking Panda has been amazing. And not to mention they put out really amazing boxes. So link in the description, check them out. I mean, th these things are dead cheap. They're, they're what, $49.95 I think is what the price was. Free shipping, tons of food. I don't know how they do it. I really don't. And as we've talked about in past videos, they are doing four boxes a year. So quarterly boxes sort of theme to the season. So this is the summer box. <laughs> you, <laughs> Postal service was still a little rough. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this thing up and, and see what we have in our summer box. Oh my gosh, this thing is like packed. It is so packed. Oh, I'm already seeing some goodies here. Um, now in the little thing, envelope that comes with our box here, they do normally have some, uh, you know, little coupons and stuff uh, with some of the things that are in the box. So you might be able to find a few things in here to get a little bit more percentile off or just general pamphlets for the particular brands that they're using there. So a little bit of uh, ad advertising there. Oh man, yeah, I'm seeing some good stuff here. Packing peanuts, those are great. Let's see what we got. All right. From the ground up cauliflower stalks. Interesting. So I imagine these are, huh? Well, so they're, it's cauliflower. Okay. Well, it's not just cauliflower. So, you know, kind of like uh, those snack straws, veggie straws, I guess, but with cauliflower. Cauliflower, it's such a popular ingredient to be using. Let's check out, okay, so we've got rind, coconut crisps, skin on, dried fruit. So we've got little coconut slivers, dried coconut slivers with the rind on, with the skin, rind. I don't, is that good? Do you eat the outside of a coconut? Is there anyone who eats a lot of coconut that can tell me? <laughs> hey, I'm down. I do love coconut. I, I do. You know what? That's actually what I was going to, I was thinking about while I was at the store, I wanted to get some, get an Almond Joy. <sighs> anyway, let's keep going. So we've got Pip Corn, Heirloom Cheese Balls, Heirloom. I think I said Heirloom, Heirloom Cheese Balls. <laughs> I do love a good cheese ball. So white cheddar cheese balls, baked, not fried. I am a sucker for cheese balls. I don't, I don't really know why. I just am. Sometimes I like garbage food. Ah, oh, dude, I love the Sonoma. I love these. I actually just sent, uh, sent one of these, the Pepper Jack uh, uh, longer sticks to uh, Dub C. Check out Dub C's channel. Good stuff over there, by the way. So yeah, these are really good. I've gotten these in the bigger format. I, I do love the Sonoma. I buy these somewhat regularly because I, I love cheese and I like, I think these taste really great. And the Pepper Jack ones are really good. The other one is like um, everything or whatever. It, that one's a really good one too. Looks like a second bag of the ca cauliflower stalks. Okay, we've got a couple of marinades from Tapatio. Carne asada and pollo asada, asado. Okay, well, I'm down for that. I like Tapatio. I think most of us can agree Tapatio is good. So some, uh, some marinades. I do love a good marinade. So yeah, those should be cool to try out. I've never actually seen these before. So that's good. That's really neat. Oh, let's see. we got two of the... <laughs> We've got some Pringle-like things. The Good Chip Company. 
classic and sour cream and onion. Sour cream and onion is usually pretty clutch. But yeah, kind of like a Pringle thing. Yeah, dried potato flakes. So yeah, basically like a, I don't know, maybe <laughs> proposed as like a healthier Pringle. But yeah, in the same little can thing. So that's, that's pretty neat. And you know, another guilty pleasure, sometimes I do like Pringles. Oh, we got some pasta. Ah, cauliflower pasta, spaghetti. Uh, it is also pretty orange or red. I guess it's, it looks more orange to me. Uh, where's the ingredients list? Uh, okay. Lentil flour, pea flour, and cauliflower flour. Hmm. I wonder why it's orange. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter, but that should be okay. I don't think I've ever had... I've had veggie pasta. I don't know if it's specifically been cauliflower, though. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm down. Ah... Miso Chili. I think they actually sent one of these brands in the last month's box, but I want to say it might have been a marinade? I don't know, but Miso Chili. Plant-based plant -based protein. Soybeans, onions, red bell pepper, spices, and premium red miso. That should be interesting. I'll have to look this up. So it's microwavable or boil in the bag, so that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll put this in our uh, cheap backpacking food. Well, depending on if it's cheap. I've never heard of it before. <laughs> okay. Ah. Ah, Tarani. Raspberry. I think I got us a, a bigger bottle of this. Um, what was it? Butterscotch, maybe? So just like a little drink additive, you know, for like a mixology or, you know, just club soda, I guess, if you want to go that route. <clears throat> but raspberry. Very well-known brand if you've done any sort of bar work, which I have in the past. What is this? They're noodles. Miracle noodle. Fettuccine style. Look at that. It's like it's in water. They're just little noodles. Um, it is a made, made from the flower of... Konyaki Emo. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's from a plant. Noodles made from 97% water and 3% plant fiber. You know, I have threatened to do like cooking videos, but when I sat down with some of the ingredients, I'm like, no, I'm going to have to do a video on these. I have no idea. I've never seen this before. I'm very, I'm very curious. So we'll try that. <laughs> Got to get some more olive oil. Little bottle star extra virgin. I, you know, I use olive oil all the time. So that's a, that's a good one. And then we have <laughs> some raisins. Oh no, wait, they're peach. Raisin, fruity raisin snacks. But they're peach, so they're like raisined peaches. <laughs> you know, I, I just watched a stream not too long ago, and they were featuring like old, like 90s commercials. And if you remember back in, in the, it was like late 80s and 90s, the, what was it called? It was like something like California Raisin Council was doing a lot of those really suspicious commercials with those anthropomorphic raisins. Anyway, that was always creepy to me, and I just got to thinking about it again. Let's get to this big bag of popcorn. Popcornopolis. Double drizzle, caramel, and kettle. Now this looks amazing. Caramel and kettle popcorn with chocolatey stripes. Um, so not good for you, but man, that sounds awesome. And I am a sucker for popcorn. I've always been a sucker for popcorn. Uh, buttery popcorn, kettle corn, uh, caramel corn, chocolate corn. <laughs> I love popcorn. I always have loved popcorn. And this looks really good. Nice little, little bit of candy. Ah, some more Utz pretzels. They, in last, last, uh, the last box, last quarter's box, 
they gave us a big thing of these and they are really good. So I do like the peanut butter filled pretzels. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. So they have been featuring this particular brand a few times. We got crepes. I think the last one was pancake batter. And now we have Belgian waffle mix. It is really good. Like this is a very good mix. The crepe mix was so good. The pancake mix was really good too. And you know, there it, it, it's not like a standard blah kind of mix. It actually has pretty good flavor to it. So uh, I, I, I will say this. Is a waffle superior to a pancake, superior to a crepe? In the comments below, let me know. Waffle, pancake, crepe. I don't know which one is superior. I really don't know if I have a personal favorite. I do have to say that because I'm not a big sweet person anymore, so I try and lay off of like syrups and all that stuff, I actually kind of prefer a crepe nowadays because it's very thin and you know, just little butter and maybe a little tiny bit of syrup, or you could do some other stuff with crepes. But I'll tell you, actually, I'll tell you what, my favorite is none of those three. It's French toast. <laughs> French toast is better than all of them. Comments down below. What's your favorite breakfast cake? Do you, do you like waffles, French toast, pancakes, or crepes? I want to know. All right, let's continue. Uh, let's see, let's go from the back here. Oh my goodness, instant boba kit. Would you guys like to see me make this instant boba kit? Here's, here's something, I've never had boba before. I know a lot of people that have, I've never personally had it. We're gonna have to try this maybe on the channel as kind of like a, like a fun thing. There are a lot of people that do this boba stuff. It's a big industry. We'll do this, we'll do this on the channel sometime, maybe as a rando video. I'm very, I'm interested, I'll try it. I'm not opposed to trying anything. Okay, Red Mill, oatmeal, apple pieces and cinnamon. Not a big oatmeal guy. Red Mill does make some really good stuff. I've got some alternate flours and so forth from Red Mill. I'm sure this is good, uh, but again, I'm not a huge oatmeal guy. I just never have been. And uh, when I am, it's usually on the trail, but I'd still rather not have oatmeal. All right. Live Bar, coffee, maple, cacao. We can put this in our midweek snack. I've heard of these. I, I swear that I've heard of them. Very nice ingredients list though. A lot of organics there, <laughs> but very simple. I like it. We'll put that, we'll get this out there. Maybe uh, four bars in here. Yeah, this should be interesting. I, I might have to look up that brand. I know I've heard of them before. I'm beating the camera around. I know I've heard of that brand before. I just don't have any. Oh no, you didn't send me more of these. Ah, oh, the pickle pops. I do not like, I'm not a big pickle guy. I, when I was a kid, I used to eat pickles by the jar. Don't like them anymore. It's weird how things change, but yeah, these are like pickle ice pops. Throw them in the freezer and they're like pickle flavored. Uh, -uh. sorry, cooking panda. Let's, let's maneuver away from those. <laughs> oh, we've got a big one here. Apple, apple flower? What is apple flower? What is apple flower? Nothing but 100% apples. What is apple flower? What is this? Is great for quick treats, comfort food, and desserts. What are you, you making pizzas out of apple flour? Seasoning? What? What is this? Dude, we're we going to figure out what apple flour is and we are going to do an episode on apple flour. What is apple flour? I am stumped. I, you know, I used to cook for a living too. I, I know a reasonable amount about food. I, I'm not like, you know, I don't know everything, but I have never heard of apple flour. I've made so many things with different flours. You know, I had a girlfriend at one time that was uh, like, you know, gluten-free. So I had all these different gluten-free flours and creating stuff and making good stuff. Never heard of apple flour. That's baffling. Apple flour. It's only apples? Okay. My, my brain's broken. <sighs> Let's move on to some blum. <laughs> You're, 
I'm sure it means something and I shouldn't be laughing at it, but blum. Toasty almonds. I love almonds, dude. I love them. Spicy chili lime, honey vanilla, and sea salt. Just a mass of almonds. And it looks like there's maybe a seasoning packet in there. This is sick. I love almonds. And it's just, it's just almonds, yeah, with like a seasoning packet. That's awesome. It's almost like they're reading my mind. I wanted almonds and now I have them. I'm running out of table. These boxes are massive, dude. They are massive. Yeah, we're getting down to the dregs here. Got a couple of these, a uh, couple mixes and so forth. Oh, some more. We've got some more raisins. Strawberry this time. <laughs> so we've got peach and strawberry. Uh, we've got some more of this um, uh, rim salt. We've had some of this in the past. It's grapefruit flavored. We have what? Wild Alaskan salmon oil. These capsules. Yeah, these must be capsules. So like a an omega three, you know, fatty acid tablet. Thousand milligrams. Okay. Well, there you go. I've got I've got some salmon oil. <laughs> I help build brains. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Brainiac chocolate peanut. Okay, so like a little uh, spread here: roasted peanuts, cane sugar, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa powder, palm oil. Okay, I don't know how it helps build brains, but I bet it'll be pretty good. <laughs> good old michelada cocktail mix and the uh, pickle salt, beer salt. We've had a couple of those through in the boxes. Uh, what else do we got? Only a couple more things here. Food related. Degari gelatin dessert. Blueberry. I've never made a big formed jello before. To be honest with you, I've kind of been turned off of jello. The consistency doesn't really stick with you. I think it's fun as a kid, but as an adult, not so much. There was a time when gelatin was used for a lot. And we got some liquid IV. So a little bit uh, to a little lemon lime to add to your water. Give you a little bit more of a hydration boost there. Probably some electrolytes. And then finally, <laughs> a little uh, Juarito's uh, keychain there with a bottle opener. That's kind of cool. Nice little novelty thing. And a pair of cheap sunglasses. If you if you ask ZZ Top, that's what really knocked him out was her cheap sunglasses. If you know that song, you're pretty cool. There we go. So little sunglasses for your uh, for your face for your summer. Can I even wear these with my fat head? Yeah, I can get them on, but you know, I also wear glasses, so I would be um, a little blind. <laughs> Let us, uh, you know, just sort of look at the scope of things real quick here. As we as we kind of do, just pile pile everything just in the center of the table. There's so much in these boxes. Um, I think I want to say our last box might have been a little bit bigger, but this still has so much stuff in it and really good quality stuff. Like you know, like the almonds and whatnot. That's that's a lot. I mean that the almonds are not cheap. You know what I mean? So. We are dealing with a good size box, lots of stuff. I highly recommend Cooking Panda. I really do. Um, they just supply an endless amount of fun and, and interesting things to try. Like I said, this box has actually sparked my brain to maybe do a couple of actual like kind of cooking-ish videos or, or sort of looking into this a little bit more. Um, so that's, that's really cool, but again, this is like a pantry full of stuff, and for 50 bucks, you're not gonna beat it. You're just not gonna beat this, this value. So, you know, I'm not sponsored by Cooking Panda, but I do highly recommend them. I'll put the link in the description. Summer box is out, and uh, yeah, we'll be continuing with, with Cooking Panda because I, I just really enjoy them. And like I said, their customer service is really good. They're nice people putting out a nice product. So 
there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Shout out in the comments, you know, what's, what was your favorite thing from the box? Have you guys been getting Cooking Panda at all? What have been your experiences with it? Have you enjoyed it? And if you have, again, comment down below. Tell me what you think. And uh, yeah, if you'd ever like to send anything in to be reviewed on the channel, the PO box is in the description. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, Patreon is down in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.